Hi friends. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I always get nervous <laughs> going live, but I wanna get on here. I'm just gonna go straight into it, but I wanna, I just wanna, honestly, I just wanna live my purpose. I, I really, um, I've had some, a lot of thoughts on my mind and when it, when it comes down to it, when it's finally said and done, you know what, I wanna live this life with purpose and fulfillment and I want to be a help and a strength to others. And, um, you know, I wanna, I wanna listen to that still small voice from above and I want to act on it. You know, if God fills my heart with something, which you guys, I have felt him so strong today and it has been, it's been really nice. It's been really, really, really just a beautiful morning. And I wanna to talk to you guys about that, what we consume into our minds and what we consume into our thoughts and what we speak, we bring about. And I feel like we are our worst enemies and we battle amongst ourselves just from what we think and what we, and what we speak. And you know, when that comes into your life, those are the times where you just really need to dig down and dig deep and really invest in filling your mind with positivity. And I do it a lot with prayer. I do it a lot with, I've watched a couple um, videos t this morning and, you know, I've listened to a couple songs that have just like, it's filled my soul. I mean, it's it's brought me so much good. Um, I want to talk. So I've been I've been challenged a little bit lately, um, with some with some personal things and maybe some some just just some things, and how often do we bring our cares and our burdens to God? <laughs> how often do we just pray about it? And um, I've been doing that a lot lately. I've just been okay. Jesus, take the will. <laughs> because this is too much for me. I can't do this. I can't I can't take care of this on my own. Like please just take the will. You take this. You 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 lay it out before you. You fix this because this is out of my control and so you guide me. And it's amazing what happens when you guys do this. Um do I know what's ahead? No. And sometimes you won't, sometimes you won't even know what's ahead until you're already gone, right? But I like to ask for signs. I like to ask for signs, okay, you know, and, you know, God, if this is the direction that you want me to go, then show me a sign. And, you know, my signs are cardinals. My signs are like birds, whether it be an eagle or a cardinal or, or something like that. And... It's been really, really cool lately because <laughs> I was um, praying about some things and God kind of gave me a direction and we went to this place yesterday for my son and on my way to Texas, you guys, I saw a billboard, I saw a sign, like literally a sign and it had that um, that place is, it, it was an advertisement for that place, going to Texas. Like I didn't even go to Texas to go, I was in Oklahoma and took my son to this place for dyslexia. And on my way to Texas, I saw a sign <laughs> that said the name of this place. So be aware of what you pray, be aware of it and confide in that confirmation. When you ask of it, take it, don't doubt it. You know, and so often we doubt ourselves, we doubt our thoughts, we doubt what we what we hear, what we speak, and what we pray, and what what we get confirmation for. Um, and then on my way back from Texas, you know, I'm praying about s some things about you know just just other things, and my whole sign is cardinal, and so I'm driving, and like there's no cardinals out right now really you know I'm like looking around there's no cardinals I'm like okay maybe it's the wrong season for this because it's like almost winter here and I'm coming back from Texas and I'm looking I look at this truck like at the side of the road and this big huge semi truck and it says cardinal <laughs> on this truck 
so it is a like a sign hello okay so sometimes they come in forms that we just do not expect and so but what that did was it just reassured me that God's got this like he's got this he's got the life that we laid before us we he's got our backs you guys and you know today I had some hurtful words come at me last week and it really really put me into perspective and I really wanted to take this person's words to heart and it, so I looked inside myself and I I just really examined myself and what I'm doing and my purpose and you know it, it sometimes it's good sometimes it's good to have um, I don't know sometimes it's just good to be kind of called out <laughs> and and look within yourself you know and but sometimes that person can be wrong too sometimes that call out can be wrong and sometimes that call out can try to get you down on yourself but that's not of God that's not of God and so um, from the mouth is the mouth can be so so hurtful and so we need to really consider the words that we speak to other people and if it's not of life and giving people hope and encouraging somebody then maybe it shouldn't be said maybe it just should not be said so um i watched this video today and it was about positive thinking and positive talk so this person put two strawberries in two bags and this one strawberry this person spoke love to spoke life to like I love you it's so crazy you guys stay with me here <laughs> it's crazy but they recorded it and so I got to see it before my very eyes okay so this person was um, oh, okay so anyways th there's this bag and this person spoke love and life like it spoke words of affirmation, positive affirmation to this one strawberry in this bag. And then in this bag, it spoke negativity and hateful words. You guys, this strawberry that was talked to in hate molded, molded. Our words are so strong and so powerful and it does carry energy. And whether it's good or whether it's bad, let's make the use of us being a positive influence in other people's lives. And you know what? When I consider what I do, whether it's in my life, in my personal life, in my family, in my household, or in my business, I want my words to go in a positive direction towards other people. I want to speak life and I want to give people hope. And I realize that God's given me the avenue to be able to be that to other people. And I'm, I'm just so full. I'm so full of God's love today that I'm just so thankful. <laughs> but um, I wrote some things down and so I wanna just share that really quick and then I'm gonna go because I'm late. <laughs> so from the mouth comes life or death. So bring high energy. Um, high words and high, bring good words and good thoughts into your life and into other people's thoughts and, and life and bring that high energy. What this does it is it, it gives you a positive outlook on life. It increases your health. It increases the health of your mind, your heart, your body, your physical being. It increases health in so many avenues of your life. So um, your thoughts of negativity or positivity actually shapes your biology, you guys. Um, so our shapes and our, our, our thoughts and our actions and our words shape our life. So what I did was I wrote some things down and I want you guys to do this. I want you guys to do this and I want you guys to say this to yourself over and over and over again. Like right now, go get a pen, go get a paper. When this video is done, I want you to do this. I want you to write this down. I want you to talk to yourself and tell yourself positive things. So I did this. 
I am loved by God. I wrote this today. Today, I, when I was on my treadmill working out, I wrote this down. I am forgiven. I am successful. I am a good enough. I am an amazing mother. I am doing my very best. I am an inspiration to others who watch and listen to me. My voice gives hope to others. My tongue is full of kindness. Fear can be, beat, can be beaten and I do it daily. I beat my fears. I am whole. I am healthy. My mind is full of positivity. I love my neighbor and I love my enemies. I bless them. My son is full of talent and he is a genius. I am wise. I am extraordinary. I am beautiful. I deserve the very best. My words give life to all. God is my companion and he is my guide. I can do all things. I think and I speak good thoughts. Create those positive thoughts and make it my existence. You guys, make your thoughts and your words your existence. You have this choice. You have this choice, you guys. Manifest your purpose. Manifest it within your words and your thoughts. And you know what? If your network, the people that are around you, if they don't do this and they don't speak this of you and they don't treat you like this, if they don't treat you with love and kindness and they don't make you feel important, then find a new network. Find a new network. Reach out to me. I'll be your network. Okay? I will stumble. But that's okay because I'm perfectly imperfect and I will love who I am. You guys, my water is fresh water and I give it to others. It is not salt water. Your water is either one source. It's one source. It's one type of water. It's either salt water or it's or it's fresh spring water. So make it, make it your choice. Choose which one you want to give to other people, right? So um, your, sh your, your, sh your thoughts and your tongue shape your life and those that are around you, you guys. So anyways, um, I just wanted to, to come on here and I, I wanted to, to talk about what I felt in my heart. I was supposed to do. I didn't really want to do this live video because I was shaking, but I want to live my purpose and I want to I want to speak life into you. I want to speak life into my friends. And so I just want to, you know what? Turn on your song today. Get on YouTube, pull up Bethel Music if you need to. They have amazing amazing songs and and just fill your cup and fill your body and fill your mind and fill your thoughts on good things and then spread that to other people. Love you guys.